Uh, Mr. McCauley, Ms. Dixon, you're both CEOs of major players in the digital asset ecosystem. Have your companies been debanked? Unfortunately, the answer is yes. And it was a process where we had, we've now had to go to, I think, 10 different banks to be able to create a, a sufficient... What's, what's the reason being given? There is no reason. We've actually, we were with um, a, a bank for the first six years of our life and uh, never had any issues at all. And um, we also had other banks to support there. And then we received a letter that told us that they were closing our accounts. And with no reason given. No reason given. And when we pushed, we never were given reason. Uh, uh, Mr. McCauley, talk, tell me about Anchorage on this point. Uh, yes, unfortunately, Congressman, we've also been debanked. Uh, we were debanked in June of 2023 after the January 2023 guidance from the banking regulators, Fed, FDIC, and OCC, uh, that came together and issued joint guidance uh, warning banks from participating in the crypto industry. Our bank actually did tell us that they were debanking us because we were uh, in the business of crypto. Uh, and it's yeah. particularly surprising because we ourselves are a national bank. Uh, have you have you have you heard from your banks that the examiners, the FDIC or the OCC examiners, did they communicate that kind of guidance to banks uh, verbally or in writing? Uh, do you have any background from talking to your bank officers, either one of you, on that? We were told that it was uh, verbal. You know, I'm concerned about that because I think, as I asked Chairman Grunberg a couple of weeks ago, I think this is a sign that people perhaps are dodging the uh, FOIA obligation. That they have in the federal regulatory system, that concerns me. We went through this on the firearms industry during the Obama administration. The paper trail was damning of uh, Chairman Grunberg at the FDIC, yet he was reappointed to be at the FDIC and now will be serving essentially in disgrace as he concludes his term. But no one has any patience on that on either side of the aisle here. Legal businesses in the United States in this great country should have the freedom to bank and have financial services. And we've seen this over and over again. And this committee is going to take a, a strong position on that. We have now, we have the documents that we're reviewing. We're going to continue that review through the end of this Congress and into the next Congress.